welcome back to our channel i am zilla and today it's just me i will be sharing with you guys my spousal visa process and that includes time frames documents fees and all of that good stuff so without any rambling let's get straight into it have here with me my little note because I'm using my phone to film so first things first mm, one second so let's start from the beginning we got married February 14 year 2020 right so we got married at this resort couples resort I think it was couples resort and sushi and their marriage officiant um said that he would mail us the the marriage certificate right so a couple months before i got married my husband moved from his old address so when we got married and they asked for the address to mail the marriage certificate we decided to use his overseas address because i know he'll be waiting on that to file the petition and i didn't want to send it to me in jamaica and then i have to send it back to him so we just went straight ahead with that so we were there and you know waiting we got married in february and they say we'll get it i think in two to three weeks ah february february march april may we know we haven't heard anything so we reached out to them and you know saying to them that we didn't get the the marriage certificate as yet so they were saying that they sent it off a long time ago so and we should have gotten it but me tell them matter is we get a final note that i gave them the old address so i have to give them the new address and that's how we got it and we got it in june so we filed a petition in june 2020 that's the 15th of june to be exact so we filed a petition waiting 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 <sighs> december come it's been six months let me say june july august september october november december yes yeah, six months nothing <laughs> another five months nothing that's nine months in on waiting so far boom june coming again you know say i one year that <laughs> nothing um june in that same month june 23rd going down into the mountain june 23rd we finally finally hear from them and that was a full one year plus some days full one year before we hear from them so so they sent us an email saying that they have received our petition and and this was like i said on june 23rd 2021 one year later so by this time um you know we got our case number and this number is what we used to log in on their system to check up on you know the process of everything so by then we we're like yes finally things you know we heard from them so it's a good start even though we had to wait one year but anyway yes so another waiting seven months another waiting we didn't hear back from them until january 26 2022 that's seven months later and they were requesting for us to send in our for us to send in our civil documents so you know your civil documents birth certificate marriage certificate police record and all of that so by then i had to um look about my police record gather my documents so everything was ready by february is it yeah by february 15th we sent in all of those it took us almost a month because you know to look about your police record you have to like it takes time and it's a lucky thing that i didn't do it once i filed the petition once we filed a petition because 
they say the one year run off and would have to go do it again eventually so yeah so that's why i did it like that so every step of the way on this forum you're not gonna hear from them at least i didn't hear from them until like two to three months at least so that was that was just the process until everything was done so i'm just going to breeze through this part because um so like i said i sent it in february 15th they sent us back not sent us when we logged in because every day i was logging in to see if we get any messages because there's a section on the system where it shows you if you get a message from them saying hey you have to resubmit this document or hey you have to pay something whatever it is you need to do you just have to keep logging in to see if you get any messages because the earlier or the quicker you sort out whatever they want you to sort out the better for you so by march 15th they said that they have received the civil documents so you know by then they they are requesting other stuff we have to make other payments um keep resubmitting stuff and waiting on them to see waiting on the system to see if it says accepted and you know that was just the process for a couple months on and i forgot to point this out guys to file the petition my husband paid 520 us dollars it's not free so to do this you have to actually it's not free some people get even lawyer you have to pay the lawyer and you have to show for that you are proof that you are that you can support whosoever you're filing for so yeah so all of this logging and logging off a system and you know putting our documents and getting everything together it rolls right back until December 2nd so December 2nd 2022 we got a message saying that well not got a message but well not got a message but when you log in on the system you'll see that it says no what am I saying yeah after we submitted everything I think three months after everything said paid if you had paid everything and everything said accepted so you know you're good you're good so basically at this time when your documents and everything are good accepted paid everything no you're actually waiting on your embassy interview date so that was december 2nd I didn't get an actual date until January the following month was it I think it was January 9th I didn't I didn't write this down I'm just thinking I think it was January 9th though I got an email saying that my interview date has been set for March 2nd 2022 no sorry 2023 so i was overly excited and yes yeah, so i know by then i had to redo my police record um and then go do my medical so i went ahead and do that now the medical is another story i'm going to do a separate video for the medical because that's a whole other story and i also got a lot of dms where people asking me about you know pregnancy and the process because some people were saying that oh when you're pregnant you don't get through or when you're pregnant that that's a problem in your filing system or they were saying a lot of things and DMing me asking me so I am going to do a separate video on the medical part of it and answer all your questions over there so yeah so moving on i like i said i look about my police record and also the medical and you know just to prepare myself so that in so that i get everything by march 2nd for my interview date what i took to my interview so guys 
well prepared well my, my team did overly prepared i <laughs> i researched questions that they might ask or question that they ask on a regular i did a lot of research um i print out my pictures with me and my husband make sure i have them they lock um yeah i have all my civil documents with me both original and copied yeah i made it overly prepared i bring everything 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 you can think of and more because I make sure I say no, I don't want to go there and them ask you this and I don't have it. After day, if it's of support, married to everything you can think of and more. Alright, so my interview date was March 2nd, like I said, 7 a.m. So I reached bright and early. First batch for going. Alright. So I went in. When I went in, the first section I went, they they took my fingerprint and they took only three documents what am i say only three documents the marriage certificate the police record and the affidavit of support please guys remember your affidavit of support because it will going slow you down and you don't want to go there you don't have it like every set every everything that they ask you for and you don't have it it's a setback and you don't want that so the, they asked me for those three documents and then like i said took my fingerprints and then the lady asked me to take a seat and wait for my name to call again now i waited for about 15 to 20 minutes then my name called and i went to a different section now this is where the actual interview um is going to take place i was nervous anyway i walked down there walked down there well confident even though inside me like was ugh, was like nerve rocking but anyway i went there um there was this pretty young miss like she i don't know she she looked she looked like she had 12. <laughs> She looked like she had to, but she was very nice when i when i went to the window she was actually talking to another lady and i stood there i said good morning and they both said good morning and i waited until they finished their conversation and then she turned to me with a smile and she was like how is your day and you know she greeted me she made me feel real comfortable and by this time I'm, I'm standing there and the first things first she first things first she asked me to swear in and by this it means that you're you're pledging to say that everything that you've said your whole entire petition everything is true everything is real so you have to swear in by that i did i did that and i feel like that's protocol and they'll do that to everybody so yeah and after that she took my fingerprints again and after that she, she went straight into questioning so i have the questions here because i brainstorm and try to remember every <coughs> excuse me everything so the first question she asked was who is filing for me the big question so i said my husband and the next question was um what does he do for a living and i said i told her what he does for a living and she said okay and she asked if he lives alone and i answered that then she asked the question when did you get married and i said i got married february 14 2020 and she was like um you said 2019 and i said no ma'am 2020 february 14 2020 because we know what i say but it's like she asked you a little tricky question to see if you're gonna stand by what you said so 
yeah, I I was firm on that because I know that by heart. So yeah, I'm in no mistake. So yeah. <laughs> Then after that, she asked me um, his address. I told her. Then she said. Then she asked me if I was ever married before, and I said no. Then, then she asked if my spouse have any children, and I said no. But we are expected now, and she was like, "Oh my God, congratulations! I am happy for you guys. All the best." And I said, "Thank you." and um she she also asked me i think the last question was she, she asked me why does my birth people look like that <laughs> guys let me show you it um it just looks like this all over it it's actually bleach i bleach do it so but I mean, that's a that's a whole another story for a story time i should probably do a story time on that but I'm I'm not sure yet, but this. <laughs> but anywho, um, I told her it was curry, and she was like, "What?" And I said, "Food curry," and she said, "Oh, I'm actually gonna have that for lunch." And I said, "Oh, wow, that's nice. Do enjoy." And she was like, "Thank you," <laughs> and she was, you know, chuckling and say, "I love curry," and I said, "Okay," and yeah, so that was that. She made me feel super comfortable yeah and i wasn't nervous at all through it i wasn't because guys if you know your thing real and you know say whatever them ask you find it real you can't lie so there's nothing to be worried about everybody process is different they ask different people different questions and it was just a breeze it, it didn't take long and that was that and then after she asked me about the the, the, the birth certificate so it looks so and i answered that <sighs> sorry she was there looking on the computer and she was like so tamika um i don't see a reason not to approve your petition so i'm going to go ahead and approve it and she was like all the best and i was like thank you thank you like ooh. <laughs> yeah so that was that guys and i before i left i asked her i said can i ask the question and she said yes so i said how long before i get back my passport and she was like two to three weeks and i said oh okay and she would say, okay, all the best, take care. And I said, you too, and do enjoy your lunch. <laughs> and she was like, I will, thank you. And that was that, yeah. <sighs> and guys, as I say, she not asked me for nothing. She not asked me, have me, my big full or so, with my big things, them. The amount of picture I'm a print. The amount of supporting documents on my car with a photo nothing else them not ask me for what me say nothing else them not ask me for some people they they, they, they ask them to show them pictures they ask from for other stuff so that was just it for me and yeah so yeah that was that and i i went outside so my appointment was 7 a.m. So by by 8.40, I was out. That's how quick it took. By 8.40, I was out, outside, back outside. So yeah, um, that was it. So I was excited to call my husband and yeah, it was, it was a good feeling to know that it, you know it's finally over all this waiting all this time so yeah that was that so guys like i said i i'm going to talk about the medical part of it because like i said that's a whole nother different story to get into and i want to touch on some different things where that's concerned so look out for that video so guys, I forgot to make mention of this that I wanted to say. 
So remember I was telling you that my interview date was March the 2nd of this year, 2023, right? It was on a Thursday. And remember I asked the lady, when, would, when should I expect back my passport? And she said two to three weeks. Well, guess what? I, I got my passport back within three days like the following monday this was a thursday and the monday i got an email saying that my documents are ready for pickup and that was so quick so like i said everybody time timing is different everybody case is different yeah some people wait longer so yeah that was it for me and yes so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like share comment and subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys thank you so much for watching bye